the fact is, if I can't fix this now, then I'm screwed, basically. Alrighty, so instead of starting my video in the backyard like I normally do, I thought I'd start it out in the middle of nowhere. As we've got this lovely little park area out in the country. Um, and today I'm going to finally use the headlight that I uh, put on the bike a long time ago. And we're going to ride uh, into the sunset and try and get some good video on the chest cam. As it happens where I've stopped, I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. There's a couple of people on dirt bikes around this track. It's a um, it used to be a caravan park, I think. Now it's pretty much abandoned. You're not even allowed to camp out here. Uh, but there's quite a few good tracks that I probably would have ridden around. Um, uh, but a couple of changes I've made to the Mark IV. I have a confession to make. I had to replace my filter with one of the dirty, dodgy ones that I swore I'd never use. So I bought some automotive ones. They're massive, they're too big for the bike. And the other main thing is I've swapped the sprocket back here to the 36 tooth um, because I always intended this one to be more of a, a road bike than an off-roader. And the other bike, although it's falling apart, it's much better suited to going off-road gravel tracks. Uh, so I thought I'd put the high-speed sprocket on and uh, we'll go for a big old ride. And it's an absolutely lovely afternoon for a ride. So we should get some pretty decent footage. All right. We have got a headlight stuck to my helmet, a tail light on the bike, camera is recording. <sighs> so I don't know how much you'll be able to hear of me between the case on the camera and this mask, I think I'm pretty muffled. But I can always voice over the computer if it doesn't work. All right, fuel is on. Oh, that was a nice little place for a rest, that one.
this is as good a place as any to stop, I guess. <sighs> Now this high vis jacket, it's like wearing a flicking plastic bag with crinkles. And I'm really hoping that's not all that's not all you'll hear in the videos. There was a path here, I swear it.
It's video Blair Witch style. Um, as you can see, it's gotten quite dark, quite late. It's not terribly late. It's only about just gone six o'clock at night. Um, now, a couple of weeks ago, I posted to Hugh's motorized Facebook page uh, about going on a bit of a midnight ride. And I just thought I'd show you more or less. This is the same little park bench that I'd stopped at about three o'clock in the morning uh, on that ride. Um, now I'm doing all right for fuel. I still probably got about 10 or 15 k's of fuel left in that tank and the big tank's still full, so not afraid of running out. All right, so. We're preparing to head onto the second leg of the journey. Now I am quite certain that I set up the odometer wrong. It's telling me I've done 61 kilometers, which I did take a detour, but I don't think it was that much. Sorry, birdies. According to the bike, this is dubious at best. It thinks 
we've gone 103 k's which nah there, nah man nah not a chance it'd be close maybe 80 or 90 but not 100 um so i've had to pull to the side of the road uh, because i heard something scraping now what's happened is my chain guard has come right off and by the look of it if we can get it in the light here it has actually vibrated right the way through the metal um, so that has to come off that's not my main issue um, I'm really sorry about the lighting here but it's late at night uh, I haven't even checked what time it is probably about seven well I was out by an hour um, so sorry about the lighting it is eight o'clock at night I pulled over because of this but the chain uh the chain's doing fine the clutch is not disengaging um at all uh I, at first i thought gee the um maybe the the cable had snapped but it's not it at all um, what it is is the entire clutch assembly is shifting forwards and I'm running out of thread on the flower nut side so we're going to attempt to make some repairs chest camera are you ready this might be our best bet just to stick the helmet on I think Chest cam, are you recording? <sighs> right. The battery ran out way quicker than I was expecting. Oh, two hours? That's not bad, actually. Now, I do have some spare clutch guards, uh, chain guards. That's some scary shit right there. Alright, now because... We are on the side of the road. Let's turn the shit around. Well, trusty old chest cam, I hope you're going to get all this. The fact is, if I can't fix this now, then I'm screwed basically because uh, if the clutch won't disengage, I won't be able to push the bike because the wheel will bind up because obviously the wheel's not going to spin if the clutch is engaged. So, I do need to just pull that in. Now, what I really don't want to have to do is try and adjust the pre-tensioner in the dark uh, I'm still easily more than 50 k's from home 
no one can come and get me. I've got no support like that. I do not want to lose. Problem is, too loose, and of course the engine won't engage at all. There's something, there's something actually let go in there. I wish I did not have to stop here. That's going to have to do it. This is not an ideal place to be having to do work. Of course, if this flower nut lets go, we're all in trouble. There's no signs of impact on the case yet, which is good. I just hope this little action camera holds up enough to tell us whether or not we're going to start. There's a whole heap of fuel around the top of the carby there. The problem, I think, is I don't know what the chest cam can see in the dark, or not. Alright. I'd better have a drink.
Oh boy, it's getting windy now. Fantastic beast.